三十秒，三十秒。Thirty seconds. Twenty second countdown. And the next step will be the pitch over, which means that it changes its flight direction from a vertical one to the uh, okay. southeast. Ah, okay. Oh, no, this is a video from the camera mounted on the long vehicle. Mm -hmm. We can still see the two boosters. Four boosters in total. Four boosters mounted, yes. And the ground station's yeah, tracking yeah. is very normal, either the optical one or the radar. And we'll be hearing lots of uh, ground stations across yes, different parts of China. Yes, they reporting the status right? of the tracking status. How many of these tracking stations does China have? So many. <laughs> and we also we have the ground station in the Xisha Island. Oh, okay. See. Okay. So they've just announced that everything is Great show. As we can normal, see the flame of the six rocket engines. Four on the boosters and two on the core stage. Mm. So how long before it reaches orbit then? Well, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, okay. Yeah. And the next uh, critical step will be the separation of the first stage. Mm. And once it, uh, so 10 minutes until it reaches orbit and then from there, it will be how long before it reaches the space station? Uh, as I mentioned, it depends on the arrangement of the flight mission. Uh, either um, several hours, but for the uh, you know for the Mengtian mission, it takes more than ten hours. Right, right. Uh, it depends on the position or the, the relative position of both the uh, targets. More announcements from uh, different uh, stations. We can see the direction has already normal? changed from a vertical chain to the yeah, uh, southeast. And on the small screen window, we can see the 3D animation, which is based on the real data uh, received from the ground mm. station, uh, which represents the real attitude of the launch vehicle. And you can see the uh, communication links between the ground station and the launch vehicle itself. So I mean, this docking process, um, I was reading, is actually one of potentially China's shortest, right, so far? About Not three hours? Uh, uh, you, you can see that uh, uh, within several minutes, we will see the separation of the four boosters. It looks like everything is going well right now and as yeah, yeah, expected. Yeah. So uh, the, uh, the, the, the ground stations, including the readers, uh, and also the telegraphy. Okay, great. The boosters are being jettisoned now. Very good, uh, great view. And the two rocket engines on the first stage is still working. Okay. Mm, but look, it's, it's off now, isn't it? Oh. We can see the separation of the first stage and the interstate. <laughs> I was going to ask you what that little part was that yeah, just dropped exactly. off there. Yeah, exactly. So the sec uh, now the working of the second stage. As I mentioned, there are four uh, rocket mm -hmm. engines on the second stage, uh, called YF-115. And this is a uh, camera inside of the payload fairing. Ah. And then, OK. Payload fairing is that is because it is already out of the atmosphere. Right. So the final stage would then be just the cargo spacecraft separating from that additional the rocket second stage, stage that we're seeing. And it is very interesting. You see that the, uh, now you can see the 3D animation is the working of the second stage. And the second stage has four engines. And it is very interesting that uh, during these four engines, two are fixed, and the other two have vernier uh, mechanisms. So uh, uh, before the end of the flight, we will first shut down the two engines fixed, and then uh, it can 
very precisely adjust its trajectory with the other two engines. Right, so we're looking at two different uh, images here. See, yes. One is uh, on the, the left is a camera mounted uh, inside the payload fairing mm. and uh, looking uh, uh, frontward. And the second is the, the camera stage, mounted right. uh, backwards, uh, just uh, monitoring the status of the uh, rocket uh, engines. Uh, you get a good view of us as well from the uh, camera. We can see the, the right. curve of the horizon yeah. of the Earth. But that's a view that uh, the astronauts and the space station can yeah. see quite frequently. So what, well. what we saw on the left screen, uh, we can see the, a big dish is the an antenna of the uh, data relay satellite. I see. So this, um, the cargo spaceship will be docking from the port that the Tianzhou 4 had just recently detached from. Yes, uh, it right. is a rear docking port of the, our Tianhe 1 core module. Uh, the Tianhe 1 core module has three docking ports, one on the front, one on the rear part, and the other one at the bottom of its node. The three, and as you mentioned, the, 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 the rear docking part has already been, been freed by uh -huh. the separation of the Tianzhou 4 cargo ship. So what uh, would the other two docking ports then be used the, uh, the, uh, the bottom docking port is not connected to the Shenzhou uh, 14, uh, right. the Shenzhou 14 uh, manned spaceship. And uh, just uh, maybe uh, several days later, the uh, Shenzhou 15 will dock to the front docking port. Shinjo 15 will move. Okay, so with that, by that, so with the Shinjo 15 mission, all three of the docking ports will be fully occupied. Exactly. Uh, th that will be the maximum configuration of our Tiangong space station mm -hmm. at this stage. A T-shaped uh, three module mm -hmm. and uh, two manned spaceships and a cargo ship. Wow. That will be a combination of six spacecraft, wow. uh, uh, nearly 100 tons. So fully functional at that point. Yes. Has the uh, space station had to do much adjustments to um, you know, accommodate the wait for the car? That's right, exactly. You're very right. You see that the attitude of the station must be adjusted for the uh, for, for preparing to receive this uh, Tianzhou 5. You know that, as we mentioned, the, uh, they must go into the same outer plane, but right. the position in the orbit must also meet some requirement. So just before the launch today, we must have some orbit maneuver of the Tianhe, uh, of the Tianhe space station. Uh, to meet the right uh, requirement for the uh, for the docking today. Would that be a big adjustment? Is that something? Not that very we... big adjustment. Just a, a slight change to make it, uh, you know, that the uh, the position of the uh, space station is not too far from the point where the Tianzhou uh, Five entering the orbit. Mm. Uh, so that is a, a basic requirement for the fast rendezvous and docking. Uh, and uh, fast, uh, Professor Young, in terms of kind of internationally, what's the sort of fastest speed for rendezvous uh, and docking? About kind of two hours. Uh, you know that the, the progress, the progress cargo spacecraft uh, lift, uh, lift off from Russia uh, docked to the uh, docked to the International Space Station uh -huh. uh, uh, less than two hours. So that is the fastest uh, record. And mm. this is, you know, that uh, this is more important for the launch of the manned spacecraft. Because you know that. Okay, the Lingshui ground station monitoring very normally. The flight is also normal. It's various ground stations checking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you can also see the 3D animation, and you can see the, the lines, the dash lines, is the data link between the ground station and the vehicle. Oh, I see. Uh, and also, the attitude now is the real status of the launch vehicle. So two hours, uh, just over two hours is the current record for docking. And you were saying that's important for uh, manned missions. Yeah, to, to because save you know that time, the, right? the, the yeah. inner volume of a spaceship is very, very narrow. Mm. So it's uh, really relatively inconvenient. So the quicker, obviously, the, quicker, the better for uh, the astronauts. Like when you go to office, you, you, you don't want to stay a long time in your car. <laughs> what's, what's China's uh, record at the moment? What's China's Well, for a manned spaceship, it's about six hours. Six hours, okay. Yeah. And do you think Shenzhou, for the Shenzhou 15, are, are, is China looking at uh, reducing that time or are we uh, going well, for six well, hours? As I mentioned, it, it depends on the arrangement oh, of, the, of the mission. Okay. Mm. But we've already mastered this technology. So when necessary, it can be shorter. Right, right. So I believe the next step will be the shutdown of the two fixed engines. And there will be some uh, uh, very precise adjustment of its trajectory. And then after that, it will be the... Uh, second stage yes. separating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So at the point when the second stage is separated, then the spacecraft will be in orbit already, or is that after uh, before when, reaching? Uh, after separation, the uh, Tianzhou five will be in orbit, and uh, the next the critical step will be the unfolding of its solar panels. Okay. And then with the solar panels unfolded, uh, so what's powering the spacecraft at that point? Uh, okay, as I mentioned, the, the two fixed engines has already been shut down. And the I'm other two will be uh, shut down shortly. It's already in uh, vacuum condition, so you can... So it's been Great. 10 minutes since launch. The uh, Vernier engine is already, already done. Very beautiful view from the rocket. Mm. So the spaceship is now on its own? Yeah. So this is a video from the camera mounted on the second stage of our Long March 7 launch vehicle. So what we're looking at now is the tail end of the spacecraft. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, and the next, oh, you can see I, the flame yeah, of the uh, attitude control engines on the Tianzhou 5. And that's helping it to adjust its, it's, uh, it's flight. Uh, it's adjusting its attitude now. Right. And the next step will be unfolding of the solar panels.